Johnson, pastor of Love Rising Lutheran Church, uh, again coming to you uh, with our biblical treasure hunt during the Lenten season, the 40 days and nights of the Lenten season. And today we have a, a, um, a reading for you from the Gospels, uh, particularly the Gospel of Mark. Um, we're reading from the ninth chapter today, that's Mark 9. Now I'm going to read verses 2 through 8, which is the familiar text of the transfiguration. Uh, God's word reads for us today, church. Six days later, Jesus took with him Peter and James and John and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves and he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became dazzling white, such as no one on earth could bleach them. And there appeared to them Elijah with Moses, who were talking with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three dwellings, one for you and one for Moses and one for Elijah. He did not know what else to say, for they were terrified. Then a cloud overshadowed them, and from the cloud there came a voice. This is my son, the beloved. Listen to him. Suddenly, when they looked around, they saw no one with them anymore, but only Jesus. Amen. In this familiar text, um, the transfiguration um, is Jesus giving the disciples, a few of his disciples, a glimpse of, of his glory, a, a glimpse of who he is. Um, and I guess during this Lenten journey, um, we are trying to see who God is and what's possible. But I think sometimes we are like Peter. Peter wanted to erect tents for Elijah, for Moses, and for Jesus. Uh, he wanted to do something. Uh, and that's good, but maybe Jesus what didn't want him to do as much as he wanted him to follow him where he was trying to lead him. And by showing us what's possible, a glimpse of who God is, um, perhaps Jesus is trying to lead us somewhere during this Lenten season. Where is Jesus trying to lead you? 